Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Elden Ring. Now today, I've got limited time to record, so mostly I'm just going to be trying to grind out a few souls, get another level, get that point of faith that I've been wanting for a long time. Come on, there we go, right you. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's right, you hit the shield. Hmm. Double soldier, let's go around the wall this way. Also, I suppose I'm just wanting to get a bit of practice back in. Because the last time I played, you know, I wasn't too focused, I was missing counter-attacks and generally not playing at my best. So overall goal here, let's see, 26, 24, 26. I've got 6, 12, so that's 36, 26, needing about 5,200, 5, right? Uh, get about another 1,000 from the ruins, and then I'll meander about a bit and see what I can find. So I'm looking to increase physical combat ability scores, but also working on Faith, Mind, and Arcane. They all need to be improved. Of course, the current level of, the current rate of room acquisition means levels won't be necessarily that easy to come by. If I just hide in the bushes over here and wait for the Hornblower, I should be able to deal with him fairly soon. I should also pay attention to the time. The sky is starting to look a little dim, isn't it? So the bats may be out soon. And that will complicate work over in that corner of the ruins ever so slightly. Because I don't fight the bats enough, so I'm not really used to their moveset yet. Additionally, it would be nice to get some more smithing stones and begin to upgrade equipment. Because... There are some equipment upgrades that are sorely needed. Now, I'll just hunker down and pop back in here again and get this one from behind. So, um, I've been giving some thought to that multiplayer mod that my friend mentioned last time. Um, I can see serious advantages, see the size differential there. Of course, to make it easier to see the enemies. But still, it's quite a significant difference. Now, I may have to try that mod because otherwise invaders need to fuck off and get their balls chopped off and fed to them. And then hit in the throat with a hockey stick or something, you know. I mean, you know what, we're just minding our own business, trying to play the game and some arsehole has to come in with their overpowered tweet build, camping starting areas and picking on what they think are newbies, it's just it's bad sportsmanship, you know? Come on, you got a hammer, you want to use it. And you're going to come in my direction. Alright, fine, I'll step back a bit to goad you out. Oh! You took an extra hit, okay. Now, doggers, doggers, what will you do when your allies have retreated? You'll get hit with a sword, that's what you'll do. And I want to go to this corner here in case one comes round there. Which hasn't happened. But it's always worth paying attention to. Alright, what we got here? 
Okay, some more gauntlets. Well, it sells for 100, that's good. And I think now, apart from the spearman on the wall there, we are almost done. That takes us up to about 4,000 then, roughly. I should get the dogs ready. It's awkward if they're called the lone wolves when there's more than one of them. There's definitely three of them. They are not alone. You know what? I'll drink a potion because I should get it back after defeating this group. But I might need to defeat the knight last of that. Now come on, you've seen me. You're walking my way. He's got into his preparation for combat pose. You can do this. Let's get that stamina back up. Come on. Yeah, I got that shield up in time. Isn't it lovely? Oh, I think I misclicked there. Well, he didn't drop anything. It's a shame he has some nice gear. Apart from a helmet that's too impossibly thin for his head to actually fit inside it. Come on. Alright, takes us up to nearly 3700. Now. That would be... F it's close enough, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. 12 would be... Um, 4893... Not quite enough, is it? What have I got in terms of excess? I can upgrade the mace. Uh, 49. 50. 51. 52. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Might as well fight a few enemies on the way back instead of fast travelling though, just for a few extra runes. The hounds will be disappearing soon once I travel too far from the ruins. Hmm. So the downside of the multiplayer mod would be that I would need to start a new character, and I could do that, not a problem. I uh, would get to play with friends a bit more, have a slightly more seamless experience. But it also does some other things, like everyone can summon the horse all the time and things like that, that actually change the way the game plays quite significantly. A number of these changes are in the interest of a smoother multiplayer experience with less unsummoning and stuff like that. But I feel that it would change the core gameplay experience to the extent that I wouldn't really be, it wouldn't necessarily be representative of what the game is supposed to be like and how it's supposed to be experienced by people. So I'm not sure that I'd want to record that. It would mean that maybe I could get the White Seer and Fujibato uh, to play. Maybe, if I'm lucky, you know, or, or a few other friends and have a cooperative, collaborative experience. But again, I'd be having a... I just pressed a key on the keyboard there to swap my shield for an item I don't have equipped to do something else. I've been playing with one of the practice characters recently. Uh, again, practice characters don't get to go to places the main character hasn't been or do things the main character hasn't done. Um, but I was going to try and cast a healing spell and go, look, I've, I've got health to put back. Oh, 
Oh, you want some, do you? Have a bit of that then, you bastard. Right. Bosh. Extra kill. Wasn't expecting that one. It just happened. Oh, there's a skull over there. I literally only came over there for the bush to see if the flowers would appear as I got closer. The review distance on the collectible objects is surprisingly short and they pop in quite visibly. I haven't changed graphic stuff from default settings at all, really. Right, you. You gonna attack? Thank you. And you took an extra hit. So maybe I should be looking to increase strength sometime soon as well. That wouldn't be a bad idea. But, you know, it's the faith I've been working on. By picking up other ability scores instead. <laughs> right. So, 52.28. I'm sure we can handle that. Hello! Wait. Weren't you... Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Um... Not buying as such. The, the opposite of buying, in fact. And we can sell this one, because it hasn't been enhanced like this one. It might be worth in... hmm. Might be worth enhancing this at some point, but not just yet. You know what? If I do just take all of these, then I may be able to do a gear enhancement as well afterwards. Goodbye for now. While we may not be George Michael fans, we do have to have faith. Or faith, a uh, faith, a uh, faith, a, uh, as he said it. Because that doesn't make sense at all. There we go, finally. That will change our equipment loadout significantly. Now, with 669, I will go look at equipment upgrades. After I make a change. Because now the finger seal can be equipped. Now, I can hit people with it, it's not going to do particularly well. But more importantly, I'll be able to start... You know what, do I... Nah, I don't really want to put the crossbow down just yet, okay. I'll be able to start expressing my faith and channeling the power of the divine. Now. Yep, six needed, that's okay. Uh, this would be a nice upgrade. I could pump this to a two, and that's probably not a bad idea. I could do both of these. And then spend an incredibly long time trying to get more for the sword, but... 122, 23, current, at plus two, right? 121 plus 23... At yeah, look, that's just as good damage on this mace. So now putting it up to plus two would take it to one twenty eight plus twenty five, which would be it's basically one enhancement level better than the sword, almost. And yeah, I think I will enhance this. Plus one on everything I'm currently using. Obviously that means a lot more work getting smithing stones, but it also means that, uh, hey, I get to do better things. Um, if I'm going to obtain some miracles to use, I'm going to need some more runes. Which I do not currently have. Right, let's, uh, let's give that mace some practice. It's got less reach around the sword, but it does land a hefty blow. 
At some point, I'd also like to go and check to see if that iron golem disappearing was a multiplayer thing. Or if it... Oh, wait. Sword. Sword. Or if it is actually just gone completely. Now in you. Nice. Now the mace has a different um, weapon art that I need to get used to. But I do like its moveset so far. I don't like um, that kick so much. I mean, don't get me wrong, it has its uses, but it's not quite what I'm looking for right now. But I'm getting to lay about me with quite some force, and that is very therapeutic. Ooh, not quite the same as your sword at the moment. Needs that little bit of a damage edge. Okay, got a smithing stone, that's nice. That's absolutely great. I'll just take out these two guardsmen here, then I'll go have a look at the iron golem. If it is there, I may even engage in brutal combat. But I do need to be cautious, as it was actually a tougher fight than it initially looked. Right then. Let's go and take a look. Should have probably fought my way back through the soldiers down Storm Hill there a bit for a few extra runes. But for now, I'm, ex I'm investigating, right? Um, I'm, this is more exploration than combat. So currently, the sword is slightly better. And I do mean ever so slightly, right? Literally like one point of damage between them. But that does pay off on the criticals significantly, especially with the extra 10% critical damage. And while I'm maybe looking to transition to the mace long term, or maybe if I can find a nicer looking mace further on down the line, just coming this way to try and avoid the wolves who drop out of the wind mysteriously falling down to the ground out of thin air because that makes total sense you know gold tinged excrement you could almost call it an amber turd that shit's golden yo right if I'm gonna fight this thing, I want my sword out because I'm more familiar with the sword's moveset. So it was here, in this space, in the middle, lying down. It would appear then to be a one-time foe, which is unfortunate as it was a good about a thousand, wasn't it? But that investigation was worthwhile. I will now remember that I can't come here looking for that whenever I want to. I could go fight some more of those black bull monsters though. There's quite a few of them around this way, isn't there, by the prison thing. There's one right there. You can see it undulating along the ground. Not, well, undulating, yeah, but isn't, is it not undulating, but... Oh, you're being a torch. Okay, I'll, I'll hit a torch. I should absolutely use these for mace practice. Wolves alert. Be aware of wolves. Especially that one over there, behind the bush. Oh. Something for me? How delightful. Oh, are they all dropping them? Okay. Seems to be the case. Now, it would be very important for me to not be in front of you, oh great big bull monster of bulls with no cohesive anatomy holding the bulls together. 
because that would make sense. That is glowing a very blue colour. And I want to be very careful about going near it. How much do these give? It's not very much, is it? It's uh, 39. So about half a soldier. Okay. I must be cautious here to not go over the edge. Oh no, it's alright. There's there's another edge a little further away. Ooh, hello. And I do need to find myself... There. A good angle for striking those skulls with this mace. Because that is an issue this mace has. It's got good sweeping attacks, but no, not so much low attacks for things on the ground. Yeah, it's going to be a while before my next level. That's fine. Of course, meanwhile, the dragon roams the swamp. And I'm constantly denied that cave. I wonder if there's a way that I could drop down the cliff from a from near the cave, so it's like this, isn't it? Nope. And it's playing football again. Right, you. Okay, let's try that again. So the heavy attack... Seems to right. finally seems to almost work, but it's offset incredibly to the left. Now maybe I should fight some wolves. Just a few might. Just to get in practice with the mace. The thing is the wolves here are densely packed in twos and threes. So I do want to be a little cautious. That being said, I've got, you know, reasonable stats here, so I don't need to... I don't want to pull all four, though. That would be disastrous, right? You, are you going to come fight me or what? I see you. Look. I'm going to hit you over mace. And then you, mate. You get smacked as well. Right, so... That one point of difference on the sword, then, is making a massive difference when it comes to the wolves and the soldiers. So I definitely need to work on that. Yeah, you bark and snarl a bit, and then... Yeah, mate, don't think I didn't see you there. Oh, bloody hell. Angle. Fine. Bloody hell. Yeah, definitely need to be much more careful of that in the future. And since it's not yet too dark, I suppose I could pop down here. Have another bash at the ruins again, maybe. We're, you know, mace practice time. Yeah, it's dark now, isn't it? Getting dark. Oh, Hornblower's coming. We want to be careful there. And his back's turned right. These soldiers, as guards, they're not very alert, are they? Bit of a weakness in their training, perhaps. Maybe their helmets restrict their vision too much. It's a possibility that should not be overlooked. Oh, you're closer. But you're coming first, lovely. And he might have had slightly more health than him. Interestingly enough. Or maybe there's... 
I don't think there's more force in the angle at that point. You know, this isn't uh, sui generis or something, you know. Uh, Exanima is the game I was thinking of, which is, of course, the sort of tech, le tech demo for sui generis. Exanima's really hard, by the way. People lie. They say after about three days you pick up the controls and get the hang of it. They lie. I've been playing Exanima for like the last couple of years. Well, no, since like 2015. Still haven't really got a decent handle on the combat controls. I understand what they do, and I can use them a bit, but I can't use them fluidly. And I still just can't get momentum on strikes. It never happens. It's always just glancing blows at best. Very disappointing. Okay, mate, you are going to get a massive pain in the kidneys. And the upper back, apparently. Oh, sh oh shit, he's still alive. Yeah, a little bit off my stride there, obviously. Thinking about how frustrating the Exanima combat system is. I mean, I love the game, I just really struggle with it and don't enjoy it as much as I could. Because it's so very difficult. Oh, bugger off, bat! Get a mace in your abdomen space. There is a third bat around somewhere. You just... Well, I found it. Look on the positive side here. The bat has been located. And stupid people think it's Batman. Also known as one of the most unimaginative, annoying, boring characters ever. Unbelievably popular, as in you literally can't believe people like this shit. But popular all the same. What does he do? He just calls everything Bat. That's it. He doesn't even do anything apart from punch people. Apparently he's a really intelligent detective. So intelligent he just... Look, he's... As other people have said, he's a millionaire who puts on a special suit and goes out beating up escape mental health patients. It's not a very good message to send, really. If you're rich, you can do bad things and get away with it. I mean, is, is that it? Is that why Norm is like Batman? Because he's a millionaire or billionaire or something. They can imagine they have all the money. It's like, you're, you are not the character. That's not. Okay, dog. You and me, let's go. You're not going to approach unless you got back up or everyone else is dead. And because I need the extra damage on the sword to kill you, I might as well try. That's good. This is going to be less good in a moment. Well, that sword slash is just a much better angle for catching skulls on the floor. It's got a wider skull window. Did you notice me? Did he really not notice me as he walked around the corner there? It's like I was right there in front of him. Bit suspicious. But hey, it's a good solid amount of runes towards my next purchase. Or you know what, actually? I'm liking this idea. If I clear the ruins, I can go back to the round table hold and hopefully invest in my first miracle. And now I think I'm going to have to sneeze. That's unfortunate. Right, one moment. It's the nose tickling priest. <coughs> you know, the, the one that doesn't always turn into a sneeze. 
But hey, we're finally getting some typical British weather again, instead of the heat wave we've had to put up with recently. No monsoons, though, or anything like that. Just a, a little bit of rain. So again, it's starting to feel more like typical August-September weather now. Come my birthday, I'll probably be bucketing it down, no, my luck. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're nearly there. All you have to do is turn around. You do not have bright eyes. In fact, the light will go out of your eyes and you will be dead. Right around now. Now, of course, it would be really nice if the knight would oh mate that was annoying would drop something special for me this time it'd be very pleasant might even happen probably won't but that's okay it's all part of the learning process you know what drink that while we wait He should see us any time now. Okay, so his vision is reduced by the night. That's good to know. Especially if we're wanting to be sneaky. Look, are you going to come fight or what, mate? Because you got really heavy armor and a really fancy shield. Oh, if you're just going to get stuck there in the tent, you know. Oh, almost got the kill. Well, doggers, doggers, and doggers did the work for us. Now then. You gonna attack? Yeah, you're gonna attack. Lovely. Well then, I think we're down here to a certain extent. Now in the round table hold we can't really sell things, so um four. Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh that that is temptation, that is. I'll explain shortly. So, because this was designed for console players, we have to drag our way across the map to a place instead of just clicking on it, and we can't just do it easily. No, no. We have to use direction keys to get the... Right, here we go. And again, we do not run in the castle. That would be impolite and disrespectful which means I have to remember what the walking key is um, it is um, I want to say left alt but I'm not sure movement control yes So now, there is a possibility things would have all moved around a bit since I was here last. Ah, you appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? Indubitably. Now, what do we have here? Urgent heal heals a small amount of health points, uses 16 FP, again as yet undefined. Um, heal heals hit points for self and nearby allies, needs 12 faith, so we're not there yet. Double, it's a double cost. 16 to 32. Cure poison costs 7, alleviates poison buildup and cures poison. 
probably worth getting, actually. Magic fortification increases magic damage negation. Flame fortification. Oh, hello, dragon. Liking this idea a lot. And rejection. Produces a shockwave that pushes foes away. So if I grab urgent heal, cure poison. If I get both of those, and then leave it at that. May the golden order shine through you. Now, out this way is the the traders, right? The twin traders, and they had some armor that I should look at. For starters, it's different to the armor I'm currently wearing. I don't think the actual base armor protection values on it looked very good, but it did have some nice poise, which is something I'm wanting to invest in. Uh, let's see. These, these damage negation values are not dissimilar to what I have equipped already, but... Um, the poise, I believe, is slightly higher. So I should be looking at maybe saving up for some of these. The shield... Uh, the, the guarded damage negation values just aren't that good on it, to be honest. I'm not sure it's a very good shield. Hmm. I did get my nice mace. Don't need another long sword. Um... These cost at least 3,000 each, so I could have picked up one of those on this visit. But I chose not to, because I really wanted to invest in those miracles. Let us depart from this place. Return to more familiar locales. There we go. A nice familiar location. And now I'm going to do the really obvious thing. That is long overdue. With the Memorize Spells menu, you can memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by obtaining a memory stone. I do not believe I have a memory stone. So. Um, the urgent heal, yes. And then for this slot, the come on you. Cure poison, yeah which I suspect I'm not going to need very much at all until I start going into the swamp or other poisonous areas like those poison egg things. But for now, I'm well equipped for my next sortie out against the dangers of this area. Right, with that, I think I'm going to end the episode because I played for a decent amount of time and I probably don't have too much longer to play. I hope you've all enjoyed this one. And I do look forward to seeing you all in the next one, where hopefully we'll get some progress or something interesting happening. I'm going to say goodbye for now, though, and cheerio, everyone. See you all soon.